Dear friends, I hope you guys are doing really, really well. It's Debbie Poliski. How many times are you looking for a salad that's a combination of vegetables and fruit? Well, this is a salad that I used to eat back then when I was a child at restaurants that served meats and chicken and grilled fish, and I just loved it. It's called a honeymoon salad, and it just stuck with me, which is why I wanted to share with you. That busy person, you have no time to spend hours in the kitchen. Well, this is a great salad with very few ingredients, like always. We start off with melon. You can use cantaloupe melon or honeydew melon, whatever you prefer. And what I love to do, as I have here, use these kind of little spoons to take out the melon in little balls. That's our first ingredient. I love melons, they're very high in vitamin C and lots of water. We need hydration, especially in the summertime. So again, our body is made of 70-80% water. Great option with our melon. Also filled with antioxidants. And you know what? People laugh at me, but these seeds, you don't have to throw them away. You can also roast them like you do pumpkin seeds and others, and they're very, very tasty and high in good fats. Our second ingredient are nectarines. Now, nectarines are also high in vitamin C. They have fiber with their skin. They've got lots of vitamins and minerals. So tasty and sweet. So just chop them up and add them to your salad. Now you're gonna laugh because here on the left side, I have two vegetables. That's right, this salad has fruit and veggies. So fruit, veggies, celery. Celery is high, also in vitamin C. I love the veggies or I love celery because it's so crunchy and the skin, the fiber, well, it's a great, great addition to any salad. So add a little bit of celery, chop it up and add it to your salad. And last but not least, we've got tomatoes. Tomatoes can be considered a vegetable or fruit, but tomatoes, all kinds, you can use these large ones or the cherry tomatoes. Again, tomatoes are like all of these, high in vitamin C, and they are very nutritious and very, very low in calories. So with this salad, one addition for those cherry lovers is just get those delicious cherries, dark cherries, and also, if they're seedless, just you know, add a few here and just gives it a nice dark color and high in antioxidants. Now to season, I always keep it simple, some olive oil and maybe some lemon juice. That's about it, you don't need any, anything else. And you know what? You can use this as a side salad or again as part of you know, your barbecue of weekends of grilling outside. Again, tasty, simple, healthy, and delicious. What more can we ask for? Looking forward to your recipes and your comments and wishing you, like always, a day filled with health and happiness, peace, and lots of love.